Hello, welcome back to uh, Innovating with Capella. Uh, thank you all for uh, uh, the support that you've given me over the last uh, couple of years since this channel's been up. I give you all basically a round of applause. Uh, it's been a, a great ride uh, basically working with everyone and, and listening to things. So uh, thank you very much for joining uh, the channel and uh, subscribing to the channel. And I'm uh, because of that I, and the success that it's had, I'm going to do a whole another series uh, uh, around a, a different product this time. So my new series is going to be focused more on reverse engineering. And I wanted to find something fun to reverse engineer. And I'm sticking with something that I kind of know, uh, but basically an updated version of it. Uh, what we're going to reverse engineer is a, sm a smart car uh, robot kit That's that I'm basically showing here. This is a product by eLego. Um, I'll post in uh, one of the links uh, in the comments section uh, where what the product is and maybe a link to it on a Amazon or something like that. So you can get a look at it. Uh, it's a, a great product. I actually have experience with an earlier version of it from a, several from several years ago. Uh, this is it here. Uh, this had a few upgrades uh, to it at the time uh, to basically demonstrate closed loop control. There was some extra hardware that you can see that I had started mounted on it. Um, and so what we're going to do is take some of the software that I written for this to do closed loop control and we'll be incorporating it into the other model as it goes along. So it should be a really fun series. Uh, I hope you look forward. Uh, I look forward to you all subscribing uh, and, uh, and and participating in in the discussions around the, this topic. Uh, closed loop, uh, basically doing something reverse engineering and getting into Capella that way uh, with a let's say an existing architecture is a very very popular topic. Comes up frequently uh, in my my regular job and, and through my uh, and through my channel. So uh, I look forward to corresponding with everyone. Thank you. So we're going to do a little unboxing video of this uh, product, this uh, eLego product that I just mentioned that we're going to kind of be doing this uh, tutorial around. So uh, in this video, we're basically going to take a look at what's in it okay, and look at the box. First of all, it's uh, ages 12 and up, I see. So that's uh, something to keep in mind that it's not just suitable for, not suitable for young children, be perfect for uh, a young person getting into playing with some robotic cars, uh, some cool features around it. It has a lot of different uh, pieces of equipment that we can use in at various exercises. Um, and uh, this one here actually has a camera that connects up to uh, a smartphone. So uh, we'll take a look at it. We'll open up the box, take a peek inside. Okay, uh, the first thing I notice here is a really nice manual. Uh, Previous versions didn't have this type of manual, and in the manual is uh, the various parts. The thing that really kind of struck me about this one uh, was that it had uh, a GPS module. This, like, this GY521, not, not GPS, but uh, uh, an IMU, and it, uh, basically a module that basically can help you do with deal with navigation, accelerometers, and things like that. So this can be used to do the closed loop control that previously I had to upgrade uh, a piece of equipment for to do that. I had actually changed the circuit boards. Uh, one thing I didn't remember when you want to, you might want to uh, get if you're going to build one of these kits, get some Loctite, um, basically a product uh, for locking the threads of the product so that the bolts and nuts don't come off. That, that's a, definitely something that can happen when you start driving this thing around and, and messing around with it uh, on a floor, especially a bumpy floor. Basically, the assembly kit looks great. It looks very much like your typical uh, Lego set, but it's all uh, mechanical parts. Uh, I probably won't be using the line tracking module that's indicated on here. I won't be including that because I did not use that in the past, but that's something that is a fun exercise for young children. And it looks like uh, with this model here, uh, there's a whole software package that comes with it. After I had previously taken a look at the manual, it shows how the wiring is hooked up to the UNO board. And uh, this shows how the unit is built up. It's a very nice little uh, build up part of it. And then there's a section on the control of it. It comes with software, so you don't have to do much. Uh, lots of keys to do things with the speed, backwards and forwards. Um, there's different modes. This, uh, I'm sure we can override some of the modes here uh, that are being used in these buttons uh, with the software. That's what I'll look forward to doing. Uh, and uh, there's even some uh, apps and things with it for writing. This is a, a 
this here is from for programming it and here's some of the view from the actual camera mode so it's pretty cool uh, there's a little programming language and so actually looks kind of really pretty impressive what I'm seeing here for a kit at the time that I bought this uh, it was around 79 US dollars so that's the, the, the quick run through the assembly tutorial uh, look at some of the components that are in the box I haven't even opened these up before at it. These are all different boxes that are in here. And this of course probably looks like the chassis. So there's the chassis components. Uh, and open those up. Take a look at them. Okay, they're all coated. You can take the coating off. They're all looks like they're done with a laser cutter. Pretty impressive uh, there. Take a look at this part in here. This shows this has the tires, the DC motor, uh, the remote controls, and the one of the cool things about or one of the things about this product is the DC motors are pretty pretty inexpensive motors, and that's why it's a really interesting project to turn into a one where you can do pro closed loop control because the motors are so inexpensive, uh, having a, some type of closed loop uh, control algorithm with them um, actually gives makes the vehicle run pretty reliably and, and, and really improves the performance of it. And I actually have some videos uh, around that that I'll end up sharing later in the class about what closed loop control looks like and, and how we'll implement it. Here's all the different parts. There's the the UNO PC, uh, there's the module for the IMU or initial inertial measurement unit, or accelerometer essentially, the 521, the camera module, the IO board, line tracking sensors, and the ultrasonic sensor model, models. I'll probably do everything but the ultrasonic uh, sensor. Uh, I'll do the ultrasonic sensors, but I probably won't use the line tracker. There's all those, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, again, the line tracking, the reason why there's the ultrasonic sensor, and I know this works actually quite well. There's the little uh, inertial measurement unit uh, right there to do uh, the things with it. That's the board. Uh, this is the uh, one for the mine tracking. So you can actually see there's little sensors right there. I'm not going to open them up right now. And then this here is the cell box that holds the battery cells. Um, dead plate, screwdrivers. Okay, good. Comes with a screwdriver. And the camera bracket. Insulation tape. Oh, even comes with some tape. I'm, oh, that's very impressive. Okay, so it comes with, looks like everything you kind of need to make this thing, put this thing together. Nice little screwdriver. Uh, that's a little Allen wrench type screwdriver. Tape. Uh, there's the servo mechanism. It looks improved from the last one I had. All the wiring for it. Uh, definitely looks like an improvement. There's the battery box with the batteries inside of it. And it does use a uh, 18650 is like I used in my previous product. So that kind of a, a quick look at the unboxing of this thing. Uh, I'm kind of excited to get building it. I'm not going to basically bore everybody with the build, uh, but I will show you uh, probably along the way different different uh, pictures of what it looks like. Okay, well, thank you very much. So I hope Basically, that unboxing kind of gives you an idea of uh, what this uh, build would look like when I put it together and some of the features and functionality that it has. And you might be interested in seeing how this would be modeled inside of the, the Capella tool. Uh, I can tell you right now it's going to start with a, a physical architecture. Uh, and we're going to sketch out some of the parts of the components and basically lay them out in that physical architecture view. Uh, and then what we're going to do is basically take the uh, add some new capabilities to what the existing system has. And uh, we'll get into that as we go along. But uh, let me know if you uh, think this topic looks very interesting to you. Uh, you hit, hit the like button if you think that's the case. And uh, I look forward to... Uh, continuing the project and uh, helping you all kind of understand how you can reverse engineer maybe your, your device with uh, the uh, Capellan uh, tool and uh, the Arcadia language. Okay, thank you very much.